Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be drawing Link from the Legend of Zelda game. Um, I recently played the new game, The Breath of the Wild, on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, really enjoyed it, so I just thought that I would uh, I would do a a quick drawing of him. Well, I say quick, it took, probably took about six hours in total. Um, I sketched the, uh, the drawing of Link out freehand beforehand in pencil, uh, and I'm just going over this now with a it's a brush tip black liner um which I, which i got uh, a few days ago so it's a it's a very fine tip but you can um change the thickness of the lines or the weight of the line so you can get thicker and thinner areas so i'm going over this uh with the like i say the brush tip black uh it's a permanent marker it's a little bit like a sharpie uh it's actually made by faber castell and then I'm using the Windsor, Windsor & Newton um, blendable markers, which I recently got. I've had these for about three weeks now, and I'm really enjoying working with them. Um, these are like a felt tip pen or a marker, but they're actually alcohol based. Uh, and what this means is you can actually blend with them. Um, you get a, a lovely, even coverage on the paper. Uh, and you can actually blend um, different colours into one another. So you'll see as this drawing starts to progress that I am actually using uh, similar similar colours but different tones. As you can see now on the face here, I'm actually, the, the base of the face, what I used was something called a walnut colour. Uh, and now I'm actually going over it in a cool grey. So you get uh, various different shades of the same sort of family of colours. Um, the most important ones that I've come across so far are the greys. So I have a cool grey one, two, three, four and five. Uh, and what this allows you to do is it allows you to um, pick out darker areas and, and add dimension to your drawing. So around the left hand side of the face here, as you can see, um, we, we, we've gone a little bit darker. We've gone a grey and on the inside of the ears now. So I'm using a cool grey three um, going into a four and into a five as, as it progresses. Um, for Link's outfit, I used a lush green for the, uh, the hat and his tunic. And then for his shirt that he's wearing underneath, which comes up around his neck, I used a pear green. Uh, and what you again you can do with this is you can add add depth and shadows by adding some of the greys into the areas that would be uh, the the darkest um, on the hair and the eyebrows as you can see now. So I used a sunflower yellow as a base, and then I went into um, a saddle brown to to pick out some of the darker areas uh, and the strands of the hair. And then I again to go for the darkest areas, which are on the left hand side of of the hair, which, which sort of coincides with the darkest parts of the face. Uh, I used uh, the the grey, so I went through the the range of the greys again. So you can see it's really starting to take shape now. Um, for highlighted areas, what you can do uh, if you want to get a highlighted area with the same colour is if you leave a, a section of the of the paper white and then go over that again later once the ink's already dried, you get a slightly different tone uh, with the same uh, with the same colour. So you can see now this is a saddle grey that uh, sorry a saddle brown that I'm using over the top of this uh, of this yellow. And again, it just it just adds a, a, another dimension, another texture to it. So we've still got the look of it being a, a, a blonde head of hair or a yellow head of hair, uh, even though it's predominantly brown. Um, but it's, uh, it, it, these pens are, are fantastic. They do, like I say, they do allow you to, to, to layer and blend uh, like you would do with pens, uh, pencils or, or pencil crayons. Um, so going into the, into the hat now, this, uh, like I said before, this is what's called a lush green. Uh, and I suppose that uh, if you were using a Copic marker or something like that, they, they all come with different names. So you just have to find uh, which ones suit you best, uh, which colours, and just have a have a spare piece of paper. The paper that I'm using for this is it's a Bristol uh, Bristol Smooth. I use a Bristol Vellum for the uh, for pencil drawings, but this is a Bristol Smooth, and it's actually made by Strathmore. Um, there's a link in the descriptions to all of the equipment that I'm using in all of these, uh, the liners, the white pens that I'm using, and the coloured markers. So uh, have a look at those, um, check those out. I think it's a link to the Amazon uh, website. So you're not really going to find it much cheaper anywhere else than on the Amazon site. So if you click on that link and you do purchase anything, I get a small commission uh, through Amazon from that. So thank you very much if you, if you have done that. That's fantastic. Um, and like I said, I'm really enjoying doing these videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it makes a huge difference to small YouTube channels like mine when you do click subscribe like and share 
um, and it, it means an awful lot to me. Uh, it just means that I'm not sitting here uh, making videos for myself and talking to myself. So we're nearing the end of this video now. So I just wanted again once more to uh, to thank you so much for uh, liking and, and sharing and, and commenting. Uh, if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video, then let me know in the comments below. You can get hold of me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, the links to all of my social media are down below. Uh, we're nearing the end of this video. You'll see uh, in a second the, the picture of it with a lot of the darker areas in the hair and the face. Um, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think to it. Uh, and I'd love to see some of your work. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video.